Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'm going to be showing you all how to make the famous Velveeta dip. It's super simple and easy. It takes about 5 to 10 minutes. It's not that long. But we're going to need a block of the Velveeta cheese, a can of Rotel, a plate to melt the cheese in, a can opener, a knife to cut the cheese up, and this is optional, it's not necessary, but a little bit of ground beef that you can add into the dip. So first things first, we're going to open up the box of the Velveeta cheese. Now I like to cut up the cheese because it makes melting it a lot easier. You can honestly throw the whole block into the plate and throw it into the microwave if you'd like. Um, I just like to cut it up because it's a lot easier, but whatever you prefer works as long as we get the cheese melted. I put the cheese in the microwave for about three minutes. I got it to a pretty good consistency and then I put it back in for I think 30 seconds and then mix it up a couple more times. But while that was in the microwave, I got the can of Rotel, opened it up. You can see I turned the handle a lot and it didn't go anywhere, but get the cheese out, make sure the consistency is good. Now we're gonna pour the Rotel in. I did about half of it, just because my bowl was a little smaller. Um, I should have gotten a bigger bowl and then I could have thrown the whole thing in. But if you have the space in your bowl, go ahead, just throw the whole can in. If not, it's fine. I did half first, mix it up, and then I threw the other half in. So you're gonna get it mixed up real good. I struggled a lot. A bigger bowl would have been very helpful. But there you have it, the famous Velveeta dip. Super simple, super easy, super yummy. Now the second part is the part with the ground beef, which isn't necessary. It's totally optional. So we're gonna take our ground beef and throw it on a pan. You get it on the stove, get it cooking. You can use any seasoning you'd like for the ground beef. I chose to just use pepper. Just a little bit, not much. Now once it's all cooked, you should take the ground beef, throw it down into the dip, mix it up real nice, and there you have it, the famous Velveeta dip with the ground beef. Uh, thank you guys for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and then comment any other foods that you guys would like to see us cook. Thank you.